Yo, 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 welcome to another great tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going over the teleporter device. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our menus, pull out that device from the gallery, that teleporter device, and we're gonna go ahead and go through every option on this, and I'm gonna show you some cool tricks that you can use with the teleporter device. Let's go. So you'll notice the first thing I'm doing is placing the teleporter device on that white square and then again over to the right. Now, what's great is right out of the box, if you just place two of them down, they work instantly, guys. So if your intention is to only have one teleporter, this is perfect. All right, but let's go a little bit further. Let's say we have this teleporter device, but we want to create another teleporter device somewhere else on the map. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this bad boy, place it down, then I'm gonna place down another one. Now, here's the thing, if I just start going through these, it's randomly gonna choose one of the four because they're all the same. So if you just place them down like this, it's not gonna be really effective, right? We have to actually do some changes here. So what we're gonna do is change it to teleporter group B. We're also going to change the other option to teleporter target group B on both of the portals and now those two portals are group B and the other portals are group A. So now you've created two separate teleporter groups which is pretty awesome. Let's go a little bit deeper now guys. We're gonna go ahead and erase some of these and go a little bit deeper and do even more cool tricks. All right, now for the next magic trick, let's go ahead and see, you see here, like every time you go through one end and then you go over on this side, if you go through that teleporter, you're gonna come out the other end. But what if you don't wanna come out the other end? Let's go ahead and change those settings. All you have to do is set teleporter target group to none. If you set it to none, you will not be able to go through that teleporter. Look at that, you cannot go through it now. So maybe you wanna put someone in a trap or a one-way portal where you don't want them to go to the that back part of the map. Maybe you're doing levels like in a game and you want them to go to the next level. That's the way to do it. Maybe you don't want them to even see that rift. You can say teleporter rift visibility, none. We'll turn that off, right? Um, now there's some other options here we can look at as well. Now uh, for this, we have play visual sound effects. Yes, because I like the sound effects. Those are always nice. We're gonna leave pretty much all of these alone. We will go up over them in more detail, but in order to see your changes on the visibility, you have to start the game. Otherwise you can't see the invisible rift. You'll notice though, right when you start the game, that rift on the right is invisible because we said turn off visibility, but we still went through it. And you'll see there, now they can't go back. So if you're doing levels or you're doing some kind of trap or you're doing something where you don't want them to come back through that rift, this is the solution and it works really well. All right, to reinforce this even a little bit more, what I'm gonna do is just build a box around here. So this box right here is just going to surround this portal and it's just to give you more of an idea of what I mean when I say you can go to that next level and get trapped. So now you see I'm in here and I can't get back out. And just one more time with that quick reminder that the visibility of that teleport will be off only when you start the game. As you'll see here, there it is. It's completely missing now. I'm trapped, I can't get out. And there you go, you got to create a one-way teleporter. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some additional teleporter settings. So let's take a look. We, we went over teleporter group and teleporter target group. Now, let's go a little bit deeper here. If you notice, they don't have to match. Uh, you can get really detailed here. Maybe if you go into a group A, you wanna come out to a group B. All right, I made you guys an example here. You'll see A, B, and C. Those are the different teleporter groups. We're gonna look at the settings. This one here, teleporter group A, but the teleporter target group is B. Going on to the next one, this teleporter is B, but the target group is C. So you can see the trend here, right? We're going through one teleporter, but if you go through the other, it's different. So then C goes to A. So what this is saying is you will never go back through the same teleporter you entered. So A goes to B. But now if I enter B, I'm not gonna go to A, I'm gonna go to C, which is kinda cool, it's just different. Then C takes you back to A. Hopefully that makes sense and you have a better understanding of how teleporter target groups work.
All right, let's go through the rest of the settings here. Enabled during phase all. I like it on all because why not? You could see it even in the pregame lobby if you want. Um, so all is always safe. You can also make it team-based, guys. You can choose team one, team two, team three uh, for these, but I like to leave that at all as well, and unless you wanna create teamed teleporters. Change teleporter target on entry. This is an interesting one, guys. Let's say you're in the middle of a battle royale game and you have this teleporter. Uh, you can go through it and it will take you to one teleporter. And then if you go, if somebody's chasing you and goes through it, they'll go through another teleporter, which is kind of cool. And you'll see that in the example I'm doing now. If I go through each of these teleports, you'll see that I'm coming out a different one every time. That is pretty amazing. So if we're doing these games where like, you want to run away from somebody and you go through one and they try to chase you through it, they'll go through another one and you'll get away easier for people like me who really stink at the game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue on here through the rest of these. We went over change teleporter target on entry. Now that's if you have multiple targets. Think of it like target, let's say you have seven target A's. It will make sure that people cycle through all the different target A's before, before you go back to the original target A so people can't follow you. Let's go through some of these. Uh, teleporter rip visible, yes, you can turn that off. Play visual effects, yes. Sound effects, yes. Those are easy ones, right? Uh, so those aren't too bad there. I'm gonna delete some of these and we're gonna go over another example right now. So now with just two of these, converse momentum. I turned it off and what you'll see there is when you go through, you stop, you kind of stutter. I don't know why you would wanna turn converse momentum off. I actually don't see a reason for that because you kind of have the stop. Um, so I would leave it on personally, but that's a preference you can play around with. So let's go ahead and move on from that one. And we're gonna turn that back on. And now going on to the next face player and teleporter direction, you can do relative or yes. And if you read the bottom there, which we can go over, it says determines whether the orientation of the player should be changed to that of the destination teleporter relative the player will emerge at the same angle to the destination teleporter that they were teleporting from. Okay, that's good to know. So relative's probably where we wanna go with this. All right, so we chose relative just now. We're gonna go through and we see here that we're going through a converse momentum. Do you see this now? We're just relative. We're going in the same way that we entered. I like this in certain situations. It gives a really cool effect. It makes it feel very fluid. All right, and next up, we don't wanna miss out on these channels. So teleport to when receiving from is going to be an amazing option for you guys. And let me show you why. Let's go ahead and set this to channel one. And I'm gonna show you some really cool things you can do where you can teleport to any teleporter just by changing that to channel one. You'll see some others enable when receiving from, disable when receiving from, and others like that, but those aren't as important as teleport to when receiving from. We're gonna delete this teleporter for the example and only have the one, because now we're gonna create an effect where when we go ahead and push a button, we're gonna get teleported somewhere. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our devices menu and grab a device, guys. Now we can do this with multiple devices, but for this example, we're gonna use the button device. So we're gonna grab that button device and place it down. And then what we're gonna do is set that to channel one as well. And I'm gonna go through the menu now and show you. So we have to go down to when, um, when interacted with transmit on channel one. So make sure you set it to when interacted with transmit on channel one. That is what you guys want to have it set to. So once that's all set, we're going to go ahead and start the game and push that button. It's going to be pretty sick. I'm excited to show you how this works. So you're just going to run over to that button. Imagine that's in a lab or somewhere on your map. They push the button and they get taken somewhere completely different through that teleporter. Once again, you can even make that rift invisible so they can't see it. It gives it that cool ominous effect. Maybe they went somewhere different on the map. Pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna go a step further here, guys, and I'm actually going to show you how to do this in a more creative and fun way. What if I could tell you maybe doing an emote would take you through, through a teleporter? Yes, an emote. Let me teach you how to do this. It's actually kind of fun. 
device we're gonna need to choose is the mutator zone guys so make sure you grab that mutator zone out of your inventory we're gonna go ahead and place it down here next to the button and clean up this map a little bit we'll get rid of that button and then we'll go over these settings all right, so now we just have that mutator zone. We're gonna go over some real basics here. Allow weapon fire, yes, we don't wanna change that. So make sure you turn allow weapon fire to yes, unless you don't want that when they're in the zone, but for most cases, um, you do wanna allow that. The zone visible during game, no. Guys, in these examples though, I'm gonna turn them on so you can see. Base visible during game and zone visible during game, leave that to no in the real game. For this example, I'm turning it to yes. Zone width, depth, and height, you can change that later to as big as you want it to be. Allow creatures, yes or no, up to you. Safe team, maybe one team can do this, but another team can't. Guys, what's so cool is you can create those options. There's a lot more options for the mutator zone, but we're going to keep it pretty simple for this tutorial and go around and show you these options here. All right, so on player stops emoting, go to channel one. Great, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the game again, and we're gonna see the difference here. It's gonna be pretty nuts. So now the game starts. We're gonna go over into the zone. Now remember, I turned that visible for this demonstration. You would probably want it off so people don't know. You're having a dance off right now, right? Maybe the first person to stop dancing gets sucked into the zone. And there you go, right when I stopped dancing, I got sucked into that teleporter. Just another great way to use the teleporter device. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There are many other ways you can use the teleporter, but this is just the beginning of what you can do in Fortnite Creative with the teleporter device. If you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. Until next time, take care.